In this video, I'm going to show you a full step-by-step -step tutorial on the best way to do Amazon FBA product research in 2024. If you're new to our channel, we are SellerAmp. We are a product research tool that helps Amazon sellers find more profitable products in less time so you can save time and money and avoid mistakes. Let's get right into the product research tutorial. Typically, what you guys see us do on our channel is called reverse sourcing, otherwise known as the storefront search on SellerAmp which is basically looking inside the storefronts of other Amazon sellers to see what products they're selling to find other winning products from there. Another great way to do product research, which is a little bit more advanced, is what I'm gonna show you in this video, manually going through a website. Now, this really makes sense when you already have a favorite set of suppliers and they have a deal going on. Like I know for a fact that Nike.com is good inventory and I got a notification in my email that they have a 25% off extra for like early Valentine's Day in the app here, we can see 20% off on Nike.com, 25% off in the Nike app. So I know I've made money on this website before and they have a deal going on currently. So that's why it makes sense to manual source it. The worst thing to, you can do as a beginner is just go man, random manually source random websites, right? Because you don't already know if they have good inventory, but in this case, I know there's good inventory on here. So now I can go into manual execute. If you're a beginner, you should mainly be focused on the storefront search method because though that way you're already looking through pre-vetted listings that other sellers are carrying. So what I like to do is I'll click into the sales section of the website from the homepage and we can see, okay, there's 2,700 items here. And now I want to filter down to get a sense like what I'm most easily going to be able to find and maybe the stuff I think is going to do best on Amazon, right? So I'm going to go here and filter into men. So they're like women's, boys, girls can obviously all be good too. We'll filter into men's here. We can see now we have about a thousand different items we can go ahead and look through right here as well. What I'm also going to do is just filter to some of the more basic colors here. I think is a really good way to filter as well. Um, you could also go ahead here and do like lowest to highest and look specifically at like the cheapest inventory um, on here. However, I like doing like just featured or like newest. So say we go ahead and put in like black as well as white in here, right? So now we can see that cut down the search to about 600 products right here, right? So we're getting a little bit more specific here. Right, so now what I wanna do is as I'm scrolling through here, I know we're getting another 25% off on here, right? So I can see 115 minus 25% off, right? 79 minus 25% off, because we're gonna check out on that, like it said there, right? So now what I wanna do is open up a bunch of listings that we're gonna cross-reference to Amazon and use SellerAmp to show if these are profitable. A good rule of thumb is that for a listing to be profitable, it's gonna need to sell for about double what you can buy it for, Amazon fees, product costs, sales tax, et cetera. Right, so as we're scrolling through here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up anything that I think I could see selling for double or more on Amazon. Like, okay, right here, we can pay like 70 bucks, right? I could see those potentially being pretty expensive here, right? We can see these tights here, we're only paying 15 bucks. I could see those potentially being 30 plus. Let's definitely take a look here, right? We can see, uh, we'd see these shorts here, 20 bucks, take off 25%, we're paying like 15 bucks here. We'd see some more tights, pretty cheap here, like a $16 buy cost. Right here, um, these uh, free run shoes or fl uh, fly to shoes right here. We got these uh, windbreakers as well. Right here, we got some bucket hats too. Okay, cool. So right, we can see, we got some basic colored products that I think I could see selling for double, double or more on Amazon. And that's really just the name of the game, guys, right? It's, it's finding items that are basic color that I think will do well on Amazon. And that's a muscle you're going to build over time, right? That I see, I know what I can pay. And I'm going to figure out if we're, we're profitable on Amazon. So it's copy this over here plug this in on Amazon and see what we can do. So all we do is just copy and paste the title over there and we can see, okay, Nike Apex bucket hat. Let's see, I don't think there's a matching. Oh, here we go, adults, boonie. Yeah, okay, here we go. So we're paying, oh, this one's more expensive though, right? So we'll have to see if they got the, uh, the white ones here. So let's see. And then, so what we can actually do is when there's a variation listing, what we can do is use the, uh, the variations tab on seller amp here to see the best porn one. So I can go ahead here and see like what has the most reviews and such. Um, unfortunately, I do see that this is a 400,000 sales rank. So that's too high of a sales rank. So I'm not gonna worry about this product. As a beginner, you mainly wanna be staying below like 100 to 150,000 here. So let's see, sports jacket windrunners here. Let's plug these guys in. Cool, and then another trick you can do when you're searching on Amazon is we can see, so we can pay 61 minus 25% uh, so it's like 46 bucks right around there. So I know I'm gonna need to pay 90 or more for this to be profitable. So if I can go down here and put like 89, right, and see if any of these guys match now. We can see, okay, so for this specifically, right, this one's at 99 here, so let's open this up here, right? So we can see, got an extra large, so let's specify that right here. So we can see, yeah, extra large here, right? So we can see $99 cost, right? And then we're paying like, I think it's 46 bucks right here. Let's see, 61, yeah, exactly right here, right? So we can see that leaves 
about $26 profit and a 57% ROI after shipping fees, sales tax, everything that goes in that, right? Shipping to Amazon. I all have all that factored in on selling up here. And it's an 85K rank, so we know that this is selling quick right here. And then what we want to do further is scroll down here to the chart and make sure that this item has been profitable over time. And we can see that for the last three months, the low price is pretty much 99. So it's been profitable for a while here, right? And uh, it's a common size, extra large here. So we can see that's the nice first profitable product. Ooh, okay. So actually that extra large is currently out of stock. So what I would want to do in this case is I would want to use one of my favorite and most underrated selling app features, which is the Google Sheets feature. So what we want to do in this case is go ahead here and one click export this out to a seller amp spreadsheet. We have a good tutorial on our channel on how to get that set up, but that lets us keep our leads organized and that we're already doing all this time doing product research. We might as well maximize the value of our time and be able to come back to this in the future. We'll check some of these other sides if that make sense too. Let's see, so this seller, this item doesn't have a buy box here. Let's see, and the lowest price is 74. So that's not quite going to be profitable here. Check size large as well. You can see this one, no buy box as well. Going for around 74 too. Let's see, medium here, 73. Yeah, so some of these guys are pretty close, like 20% ROI. Might consider putting them on an almost good spreadsheet in uh, SellerAmp as well. We are not quite good on this specific item here, but that one size was really good and it was just out of stock here. Let's see, yeah, 74 bucks as well. All right, so we can see, okay, cool. So passing on those, unfortunately not in stock, but uh, that one SKU is very, very profitable. It makes sense why it's out of stock, okay. Let's see, so we got these black and white ones here. Let's see extra wide, so we only have a size 10 here and the extra wides I'm sure are a little bit less common here. Extra wide, yeah, pricing I don't think is matching up on those. No problem. We got these Nike Dry Fit Pro Men's tights here. Let's see, okay, here we go. So what do we need? So we need the white ones. White ones are black ones and we need them at 30 plus. So let's see, it's plug in 29. Let's go white, black. Let's see, and we $29 minimum here. Okay, oh, 30 bucks, okay. All right, we're gonna have a shot here. So we got, yeah, large 3XL here. 21, yes, that doesn't work, no problem. Let's try large here. 27, okay, so this is gonna be pretty close here. So these are at uh, 22 bucks, and then we wanna take off 25% uh, here. So the way we can do that is we can multiply, do that math and sell ramp. So say it was 20%, we multiply by 0.8. Say it was 30%, we multiply by 0.7 right here. And this is really just name the game. So this is close, just about break even here. Let's see, has this been profitable in the past here? Take a look at the last year, we can see, yeah, there totally has been times where this is profitable. Buy box and at 30. Buy box at 32 and such, right? So it's probably, you don't know, most good spreadsheet type button. It's not quite currently profitable today though. Let's see, and if you dry fit shorts, you can see, and also just stuff going out of stock. Some people are obviously selling out in these as well. Okay, looks like we got a couple listings here. Ah, so they don't have a size small here. Those are nice and profitable, but um, unfortunately, another out of stock sheet item right here. Let's see, a size small on these guys. So let's see, 31, okay, here we go. So let's see, so we wanna pay, it's 19.97 here, times 0.75. Right, cool. All right, sweet. So here we go. Right, so we got a thirty-one dollar cost here. It's about four fifty profit. I have sales tax factor on selling up here. About a thirty percent ROI. I know I checked Card Bear earlier, so I can actually purchase a discounted gift card, which is going to help my profit margin here. So say we take off another four percent from a Card Bear or a Top Cash Back gift card. Um, now this item becomes like a thirty-six percent ROI, and there's good cash back on um, Nike.com as well. So. First item of the day, assuming that the chart looks good, which we can see when you scroll down here and see the price is nice and stable over time. So this is a good skew here. So first uh, winner of the day, but we can see we've already had several items that are either profitable or close in this case. So uh, not a bad start to the day here. Let's see what else we got. Need some more cheap stuff. Okay, those slides here. Let's see, Nike Challenger pants as well. Let's see what we got. Cool, all right, sweet. So yeah, three-fourths tights here. Cool, so we can see we got some other skews. Want to take a look at right here? All right, challenger running pants. So we want the ones with the gray swoosh right here. Is that gray? Yeah, gray, black, gray. Okay, we need those pretty expensive. Let's see, it does look a little different. Yeah, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to verify uh, what's the right item and such. Um, you're going to build that muscle over time though, again. Damn, another one that's out of stock. I bet you these are profitable though. Three fourth tights, the black one's minimum price 30. And let's put in that minimum of 30 bucks right here because we know. So it's like such a nice trick you can do when you're doing these types of searches. Let's see, dry fits, those are not the three fourth ones, those are a little bit longer. All right, so we're not liking those, unfortunately. Jordan post slides, I've sourced some of these before. And let's see, so we want these to be, let's see, Jordan post slides, we want these like a minimum of like, what are we paying? So we're paying like 22, it's so like 45 here. Ah, okay, these were hiding. They got an incorrect title, but looking at that, that is the right product here. Boom, okay, yeah, 56 bucks here, okay. So we can see, we're paying like 23. 
right here. So it's a uh, 57K rank now. Size seven is going to sell a little bit slower, but we definitely want to take a look at the chart to verify moving here. And we can see if this product has been nice to profitable over time. And we can see about two weeks ago, it's like in the 46 range right here, which is still nice and profitable at that 22 or so cost right here. So we can see we got a total winner right here. And then we'll have to check some of these other sizes here too. So uh, 36 bucks, not quite good at 23. Uh, size 10 here at uh, 52. That is a very good skew here at about 23 bucks right here. So we can check this out. We can see max cost on seller amp is 27. Um, we're handsomely below that at 23 bucks. And remember, I have sales tax in my seller amp settings and shipping amps on my seller amp settings already. This is about $13 profit and a 55% ROI. It's a really good idea to spend some time just on Google to figure out what websites carry your favorite brands of products. And then what you want to do is create a burner Gmail address that gets fed deals and what deals those websites ha have going on all the time. So you can figure out opportunities to manual source in your favorite websites. So the nice thing is when you're placing orders on suppliers, they're going to start emailing you on deals because you would automatically add to their email list. And you're going to find good opportunities to manual source. But my big takeaways, right, is just that like, I really like the idea of doing the filter on the search right there and then just picking common colored products and just stuff you think uh, you know, are going to be at high consumer demand that looks like you can sell it for double or more on Amazon. That's going to be the key to manual sourcing. If you're a beginner, start out with just a storefront search. You can watch our other videos breaking those down. And then also you want to make sure you're leveraging all the coupon and cashback extensions like Be Frugal, Rakuten, Retail Me Not, Top Cashback, uh, Coupon Birds as well. And then also having that burner email address, like I said, and leveraging card bear and top cash back for gift cards. Like we could even add gift cards in and get, you know, a further margin here and get another like 4% off. So multiply those, right? Just purchase discounted gift cards right there. So that's the manual sourcing tutorial. If you guys have any questions, let us know down below and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.